my name is Katarina and I'm the uh, chairperson of the FIAN Sweden, uh, a human rights organization working with the right to adequate food and nutrition for all. And I will explain the concept of food sovereignty, um, which is a broader term than food security uh, that also takes into account uh, how we produce food in collaboration with nature and ecosystems, uh, with a focus on the people's needs uh, of food in uh, food policies, and uh, especially on the power dimension, who has power over food, how it's produced, how it's traded, how it's consumed. Uh, we want to put that power back into the hands of people. And um, uh, food sovereignty also puts an emphasis on uh, local food systems, um, preserving uh, knowledge, traditional knowledge, and using traditional knowledge on seeds, um, for example, and sustainable agricultural methods, building up the soils and ecosystems um, to make food systems more resilient uh, and uh, giving the power back to the locals. Uh, over their food. And lastly, uh, we need to adopt a new way of thinking about food uh, as something sacred, uh, something that gives life, gives health, and um, therefore is more than just any other commodity.